Welcome to Inspiration for an Elegant Week. It's been one year since I launched Exploring Inner Elegance and I've had a really good year seeing my dream come to life. I'm so grateful to have the opportunity to help people with my articles, videos and podcasts. But the last year was also very difficult. Two of my brothers died and a beloved aunt and I felt as if I were forever getting on a plane back to England. I've come to realize there is a great deal to learn from these experiences, both good and bad, and I'm working on being thankful for all of it. And this reminds me that the first piece I released for Inner Elegance was about the magnitude of gratitude. I started with this because in many ways I feel it provides the foundation for everything elegant. And because life can often be difficult, we need to learn how to make the very best of it and be grateful for what we have if we're to be effective human beings. Because I'm not a morning person, I find mornings, and particularly Monday mornings, very challenging when it comes to being grateful. This seems like the perfect time for a reminder of how powerful practicing gratitude can be. Consider what happened when we woke up this morning. A few seconds of peace and then the ego started to chatter. We're flipped into overwhelm thinking about what we don't have what we can't do, and where our lives are a mess. The ego keeps us small, powerless, and expecting the worst. And this is serious business. Consider this. What we pay attention to increases. So when we focus on what is missing, we attract more of exactly that, what is missing. We start out believing that the world is hostile and then our day goes that way. To avoid this, here's what I try to do each morning and I found it helps me a lot and I really notice the difference when I skip it. When you wake up, stay in bed for an extra five minutes. Then listen to the mind chatter and acknowledge it for what it is. A distraction. These thoughts aren't you. You can change them. Then focus on three things that are going well. Even if you're going through a rough patch, you can find things. It doesn't have to be complicated. Be grateful for things that we can often take for granted, like a cozy bed, friends and family, and the prospect of a cup of coffee. Then make a pledge to thank somebody this week you're particularly grateful for, but perhaps never think to thank properly. This will affect that person who will then most likely express gratitude to others. If we focus upon gratitude, we will attract more gratitude and this mindset will alter our surroundings. It's the glue that strengthens relationships and communities. We know that positive, grateful people are so much nicer to be around. It's an elegant way to be. Thank you for watching. Let's be grateful for all we have and have an elegant week.